Good morning guys. I'm just getting ready, just putting some cuticle oil on. Honestly, the difference in my nails. I got them done on Friday. Just, I always get square white tips. Well, la next time I'm going to get almond, just like a plain. But yeah, I always leave this by my bed. Little CND cuticle oil. Where's my CND cuticle oil? Um, just so I remember to do my cuticles. Please excuse all the mess and tools down there. Oh, the radio is still on. On. I just well have done the bedroom reveal when I did. Because imagine if I waited for the radio just to go on. Honestly, Liam is just, I just have to, what the, <laughs> what in the postpartum hair is going on here? <laughs> oh my God, let's tuck that behind there. Um, Yeah, he just likes me to get to the point where I'm just nagging. He just must enjoy me nagging because he doesn't do it unless I go on about it for oh years. So we might have radiators on um at some point before the winter. I made my green juice. Rudy is down for his morning nap. I thought we could get ready together because I want to go to B and M and get some just see what they've got for rudy's birthday which is in three weeks so i just want to see what's there i want to get little bits like i need to get some helium obviously for the balloons i really want to make some lemon cookies as well so i might get some uh, the recipe for some lemon cookies. I did practice Rudy's birthday cake. It came out good. I was happy with it. But the recipe said to use dark chocolate. And the um, cake was like obviously really, really dark. I did mix in milk chocolate with it. But it still came out quite dark. And I don't really want it that colour. I want it sort of like a brownie, light brown. So I'm going to try a different recipe and see how we get on with that decorative bits have come for it as well so um so i'm excited for that to get that done we watched a film on friday called no escape on netflix oh my gosh you've got to watch it it was so good it's just like you know them films that you um you're on the edge of your seat from like the minute that it starts, it was just, oh, it was mad. It was so good. So I'd recommend watching that. Um, we've had a chilled weekend really. Friday, I got my nails done. That's all I'd done Friday, was Liam had Rudy. Um, Saturday, oh, we went to soft play Saturday, which is like, a soft play for Rudy's age, like uh, crawlers, and oh, it was so good. Yeah, it was really, really good. We did inquire, I know it's a bit late, but we did inquire for his birthday. Um, because we was there and we was like, oh, do we do a party for him rather than like uh, friends and family at home? But They've uh, they're shut that weekend because it's bank holiday weekend, so we couldn't do it anyway. But oh, it was the nicest little place. And upstairs they had like a little play village, like hairdressers and little shops. It's obviously for like older children, like toddlers. But we did take him up there for a little bit. But oh, he just loved it. And I said to him, it's like the first weekend that we're doing like. I don't know like stuff for him if you know what I mean like a little play center thing. just oh it was just really really nice we had the best day and then we went out for lunch after and 
and the restaurant we went to had like loads of toys restaurant for like little children i just thought oh that's such a sweet little thing to do and um they had like little dog treats there if you wanted to take your dog it was just such a nice friendly little restaurant so yeah that was a really really nice day and then we stopped at like this it was like a brewery, to be honest, on the way home for dinner. Uh, Liam really wanted to try there because it's like uh, brisket and things like that. He loves um, barbecue food, as I've said before. And we walked in and it's like they'd never seen a baby in there before. I was like, I don't know if you're allowed children in there. Because it was just like, I don't know, like a proper man's place. Like they were just these massive um, vessel things with um, like making cider so it definitely wasn't um, child friendly but they were lovely in there they were really nice I really just like stayed on our lap as well because there were like sofas in there and um, yeah it was a really the food was really nice I had a smash burger yesterday we went to oh yesterday I was so tired, so I said to Liam, oh, do you want to take, I'll feed Rudy when he wakes up, and then you take him downstairs, um, so I can have, like, a half an hour nap in the morning. Oh, all hell broke loose. <laughs> I had Pixie scratching on the door trying to get to me. I was lying in bed, and I could just hear Rudy crying, and, you know, and you think... I might as well have just got up so I went downstairs Rudy was refused in his breakfast of his dad he was like screaming for me like he hadn't seen me in years it was just it was mayhem I thought well that's the last time I ask for a 10 minute lie-in it was just oh he's really really clingy for me at the minute um, which is so sweet I can't complain like it is the sweetest like he is such a mommy's boy it is really cute but yeah when I just wanted like 10 minutes I come downstairs I was like what has happened like why has this drama unfolded because I want a bit of a lie-in um, so yeah, didn't end up having the lion. We just had a lazy day, really. Liam went to get Greg's. My diet, well, not that I'm on a diet, but do you know what I mean? Like my healthy eating hasn't been very healthy this weekend because we went for a roast yesterday with Liam's family. Um, roast beef, so that was nice. We went to the same place that we went um, in my previous vlog for our first date night we went there we just love it there the food is just amazing like the service it's just such a beautiful quiet little pub um yeah rudy rudy was good as gold as usual he loves being out um yeah and then we just came home and I tidied the house a little bit. I haven't done any washing this weekend. So you can imagine how overfull my washing basket is. But we're just going to ignore it and go shopping instead. I feel like I haven't been on here for ages because I didn't vlog. I should have vlogged the weekend really. But I thought I'm children everywhere. I won't be able to vlog the... Um, soft pay but it wasn't that busy they give you like slots so they don't overcrowd it because obviously it's for like really little ones um so i could have vlogged really but i'll get my little mirror and easy with my little mirror yeah i could have vlogged and then it's such a pretty little place we went shopping after didn't end up getting anything we got like a little raincoat for rudy which i'll show you I'm all ready. I got this um, tinted butter balm. It's the Kylie Jenner one. 
in shade Pink Me Up at 8. And I really like it. It stays on and it's like really hydrating. It's a really nice shade. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Rudy's still asleep. I'm so sick of wearing jumpers. It's raining again today. I do like cosy days, but I just feel like it's gone on for too long now. We need some sun in our lives. But yeah, I'm all ready. Um, I'm just gonna finish my green juice, wait for Rudy to wake up and then get him ready and then head out to the shops. But I just wanna say thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please subscribe. Um, so then I know that you want me to do more videos. Um, I'd love to know what you want to see from me as well in different videos. I mean, obviously when we go on holiday and um, little weekends away that we've got planned coming up, I'll take you along with me for things like that. So it will be like um, a bit different vlogs because I haven't done like a um, week away or anything like that on my YouTube yet. But yeah, let me know what you want to see and I'm excited to spend the day together. in the slow cooker um chili making chili con carne just so i don't have to worry about tea uh being out today it's literally just mince chopped tomatoes kidney beans obviously chili powder a little bit of paprika oregano and um i put in some cocoa powder sometimes i put in the um like dark chocolate squares but I didn't have any so I just sprinkled a little bit of chocolate powder in there I haven't done it spicy because I want to give Rudy some as well but I've just put that on low just to cook throughout the day can you see him oh he's still fast asleep um yeah so I've been able to I've actually put a wash on I didn't think I'd have time to start messing with the washing but put a wash on the washing that was in the dryer put the dishwasher on and just cleaned around a little bit tidied up upstairs so that's all done because i hate coming back to a messy house i absolutely hate it obviously sometimes when you're rushing out the door it can't be avoided but i just like to finish shopping walk back in and everything is done and um, so that's one of the reasons why I put the chili on as well so I haven't got to worry about tea this evening I'll pick up some jacket potatoes as well and some creme fraiche and we'll have it with that so I'm excited for a chili didn't think I'd be getting my slow cooker out in April to be honest <laughs> But there we are. Yeah, so that'll be nice. I haven't used the slow cooker in ages, so we'll have that for tea. The only thing with this nap is, you know, like, when you're ready, like, when I'm dressed and ready to go shopping, it's like I want to just go. But yeah, you've obviously got to wait around for him to wake up, haven't you? And then by the time you get him ready, I'll feed him um, before we go, just like a little snack. 
just to tide him over till we are probably going to a calf and then feed him his lunch there. But it's like by the time you actually leave the house, it's like hours and hours on, isn't it? And you're like, oh, I could have left. Like everything just takes so much longer with the baby, doesn't it? I'm just about to pack his bag because I'm not going to take the backpack. I'm going to take the pram bag. And the thing is, when I end up like switching bags, like yesterday, I didn't. Uh, Saturday, sorry, I didn't have any baby wipes because they were in the other bag. So I'm like making sure I have uh, everything I need now. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing with the naps for the minute. Obviously, it's going to change as he's getting older and things like that. But it's working for us. I mean, it could last a week. Liam's mum, when we went for the meal yesterday, she bought him some uh, little Ella's Kitchen snacks. So I'll definitely take some of those, keep him occupied. Um spare outfit which is covered in crisps um does anyone ever forget about the outfit that's in the changing bag and then when they grow out of it you're like oh i didn't get to use that because it's been in the changing bag for months <laughs> this is well this one's slightly too big but like what happened in the uh, Primark video, you never know when you're going to need a spare outfit, so I'm just chucking that in, chucking in just a few random toys as well. He is obsessed with pots at the moment, so I'm going to take his little pots for him. I hate, like, I don't know, I sort of wish there was, like, something online that you could, like, see the inside of, like, the calf before you go in, like, the calf that you want to go into. Do you know what I mean? Like, we went to, for breakfast the other week, and they sat me, like, right in the middle. Everyone was, like, walking past Rudy's high chair to try and get past, like, to the till, and... I just thought if I could see where I was going to be sat before I come in here, I probably wouldn't have gone in there because it was just, he wasn't eating because he was looking at everybody else. I felt like I was in the way with the pram and do you know what I mean? I just wish you could sort of like have a sneak peek of the calf before you actually go in because the cost that I'm planning on going to is always busy and I feel like once you're in, it's like... Where am I going to sit? I don't know. Is it just me that thinks that with a baby? Because I never thought it before having a baby. I always thought that Liam was like the picky one. Like when we'd go out for meals at a restaurant or whatever, they'd say, oh, you, is it okay if, you know, I've got this table available? And he'd be like, uh, is it all right if we're, I have that one over there? And I was like, oh, you're so picky. But now I've got Rudy, it's like I've become picky. Like... You can't be a little, I don't know, sort of like a little corner tucked away. Um, yeah, so you've got your pram and you can get to your bag and Rudy's happy and settled and, you know, you're not in anybody's way. And if I need to feed him as well, breastfeed him, I can. Like, I wouldn't have been able to breastfeed him in that situation the other day when we slap bang in the middle. Um... But yeah, I do tend to not feed breastfeed him out a lot anymore, just because he is <sighs> manic. <laughs> he ends up exposing me <laughs> because he's just, he doesn't sit still and he's letting go and, you know, it, it is just a bit manic. So, and as well now he's feeding like I know when roughly he'll feed, he feeds about four four times a day. Um, and I can take the little follow on milks out with me in a bottle if I need to, but like today I'll feed breastfeeding before we leave. So I know he won't need to be 
um, fed milk again until we come back for his afternoon nap. Um, so yeah, I try and play it like that really, just because, I mean, if I do need to feed him, I will feed him. Um, it's just, as he's getting older, he is just, he's basically doing a handstand while he's feeding. So it is a bit tricky to feed him um nowadays but yeah i just just a random thought like if you could just have a little sneak peek of the restaurant before you go in that's why we love the cafe around the corner here because um it's never that busy uh it's like our local little cafe and um everybody knows rudy there and they're all just lovely and you know what i mean it feels like comfortable to go in there but yeah I don't know how busy it will be as well because it's Easter holidays, so that's if we end up getting into the Costa because it is, as I said, quite a busy one. Good morning! Good morning, good morning, good, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> you such a cutie. Oh, I love her cuddly ears in the morning. Should we get you changed, darling? Hey, let's get you changed then. Ready? Whee! <gasps> Good boy! Who's this? Oh, is that your bear? Do you want to brush your hair? Brush, brush, brush. You go, darling. Changed. Such a happy little soul. Oh gosh, it just melts my heart. Like, it's just very rarely grumpy. Like, ever since, ever since he was born, <laughs> we laugh really because he's that laid back. He's just like Liam. Liam is like the most laid back person <laughs> you could ever meet. And Rude is the same. He's just, I just feel like he's the easiest baby ever. Obviously, it could change as he's going into toddlerhood, but at the minute, he's just holding, aren't you? He's there. He's there. You can't do it. Let's brush your hair. It's wild. Oh my goodness, it's wild! Look at your hair! Oh, it's getting so long! We're gonna have to get you into the barber soon, mister! Oh, oh, oh! Where's Rudy? Where's Rudy? <laughs> there he is! Ouch! Blue vest isn't really going with your brown sweater but mommy should have got a white vest shouldn't she oh my goodness look at you darling oh you look so handsome oh i love you come on then darling mommy's been waiting all morning to go shopping should we go yeah come on then so sweet. I desperately need my hair doing. I think I'm gonna have to book in um, this week because it is just so overgrown and my roots are really coming through. <laughs> to Home Bargains, um, the music's really loud in here so I can't speak for very long. They've got a lot of um, outdoorsy sort of um, water play for Rudy which I really wanted so I think I'm going to pick up, I might have to move the car though because I've parked a bit away. Um, and I'm going to have to move the car, I think, to be able to get 
the set that I want but I'm so glad they've got it they've got like little buckets and spades as well um, which is only like three quid I know we don't go to the beach very often but for three quid um, I might just get it so yeah I'm happy in here I've actually found what I wanted So we are back in the car, that was very successful, I was very impressed with home bargains for like the little toys there for Rudy. Um, I didn't end up getting the water pit because I sent a picture, there were two different ones and I sent a picture to Liam asking which one he thought and he said his mum and dad have already got one. So for Rudy's birthday so he, he um he's already got a water fit so that's good he's just rammed everywhere I've tried to go into the Costa I did actually walk in but um there's no seats there's only seats outside and it's a bit too cold for Rudy outside so we're gonna go and find somewhere now um nearer home for uh some lunch I have to say as well, the amount of people I've seen park in child parking who haven't got children is just ridiculous. Like it's half term, people are obviously going to be needing the spaces. They are regardless. Yeah, I just can't believe people, like the amount of people I've seen do it today. <gasps> When can he have it? On the 1st of May. Do you want it now? No. It's in it now, too late. And pop tubes. Oh, what's it not, Mum? So we are back home. Um, we ended up being in a traffic jam for about 40 minutes, which wasn't ideal. So we just came straight home. Um, I've just boiled some pasta and uh, done like a little tomato sauce for Rudy's lunch and I'm having uh, leftover curry. I made a chicken curry for dinner, the other, uh, not last night, night before. So I'm having that for my lunch. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this that I picked up, the little farm tractor thing. It's so weird, isn't it? Cause like he sat there and these are his birthday presents but obviously he doesn't know bless him but yeah they um like make all the noises of the animals i really wanted to get him um some sort of like animal farm thing so i was happy with that his new thing is dropping his spoon on the floor isn't it rudy and he just thinks it's hilarious to drop it on the floor um but these spoons are really good because they that bit obviously doesn't touch the floor when um, when he drops it. Good boy, darling. He loves this toy. It was actually my niece's. My sister gave it to us. And he absolutely loves it. There's a boss. You do it. Clever boy, Rudy. This is the little coat that we picked up in um, when we went shopping on Saturday. Try and zip it up so you can see it a bit better. It's um, it's like a little raincoat from H and M. I thought that was cute for like the little summertime and maybe on holiday to take it on holiday with us. So you, I bet you can't hear a word I'm saying <laughs> because of his little ball machine. Rudy is down for his afternoon nap. Um, I just thought I'd come in quickly show you the rest of the things I got. So obviously I got the tractor 
thing there and I've got some little pop tubes these were so cheap I think they were like three quid or something um, but he had these uh, baby sensory and he loved them he played with them near enough the whole time and a little bucket and spade for when we go away um, on our holidays and our little weekends away so yeah I got him a little bucket and spade set so much there as I said it was a really good store it was like a new store so it's um, it's really really big so it was good it's been ages in there so yeah that's all the little bits that i picked up the rest i'm gonna have to get online like the helium and um the teddy paper plates and stuff like that like i couldn't find any i did look in sainsbury's as well couldn't find it in sainsbury's but yeah i thought we could bake some little lemon cookies whilst rudy's asleep i've got a blocked milk duct which is the most annoying thing in the world but i've had so many um, in our breastfeeding journey. It's just one of them things that's just uncomfortable and it's at the bottom. And if you know, you know, when it's at the bottom, it's just, oh, it's so painful. <laughs> it's just like uncomfortable. I mean, I've never had mastitis. Fingers crossed I don't get it. Hopefully this one passes and mastitis please don't come for me <laughs> i do not want mastitis but yeah I, it's been a lovely day shopping with rudy i really really enjoyed it i love our little days out he is just golden he loves just sitting in the pram being nosy um yeah I really love our little shopping dates. But anyway, let's crack on and bake some cookies while he's asleep. that is the lemon cookies done i'm so happy with how they turned out right should we try the cookies well mommy tries them yeah let's try one mm. they are really good i really like the icing with the lemon you can't have it you can't have it darling you can have a lick what do you think i think he likes them do you like them rudy well, they're nice i didn't think you'd like it because of the lemon i will leave the link down below for the um recipe but i ended up making <coughs> where are you going um, 
there were 16 in the end, so you make 16 cookies. Are you trying to escape? Whee! Oops! Whoa! Press your music! Good boy! <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> Are you dancing with Pixie? Liam's mum and dad got him this for Easter and he absolutely loved it. Like you could just, he could just sit in there all day and be pushed. And you like following, don't you Pixie? Hey. <laughs> Off we go! We are just chilling, uh, Liam's on a call, I really want to jump in the shower and wash my makeup off, my block book's getting worse, I've tried um, putting him on it to feed but he doesn't want to feed and a uh, like warm shower usually helps so I'm going to wait for Liam to finish his call and then gonna go in the shower wash all my makeup off and I might even get into my pyjamas it's only quarter past four but we can get nice and cosy can't we good boy on in the evening now I've just made a cup of tea but I'm actually worried to drink it because when mum stayed I had a tea before well mind you I had quite a lot of teas before bed because she's like you don't even need to ask her if she wants a cup of tea because she's got tea on tap um so I had quite a lot of tea and I didn't sleep at all so I'm a bit worried to drink it and I'm so sensitive to anything like Liam takes the mick out of me because I'm just like the slightest thing is just it affects me <laughs> so we'll see how we get on I might just drink half of it but yeah um Rudy's in bed I'm all showered well I had a shower earlier when Liam finished work to um trying to block my bloody milk duct and it's still blocked so we'll try again tomorrow it's going to be an uncomfortable sleep i think tonight but it's just one of those things isn't it it's not blocked really bad so i should be fine um i've had a lot worse when we went to sardinia i think it was blocked like the whole holiday um i did get quite ill there as well for two nights so it's not anywhere near as bad as that, so that's fine. But yeah, Rudy's in bed, he's asleep. Liam's upstairs, he's um, he's not asleep. He's just upstairs watching some golf thing. Um, so I thought I'd come down and film. Tried to give Pixie a little cuddle and she's not having any of it. She put her head under the blanket like, I'm um, just done with people today. <laughs> She's taken herself to bed and she doesn't want to know me, so 
That's fine, she can have a nice little sleep. I had a really productive day today getting Rudy's bits. I know I've still got a few, well, I feel like I've got loads more to get, but I feel like when you start to think about it, none of it really matters anyway, does it? Like, as long as he has the best birthday with us, um, that's all that matters. So yeah, I'm happy with the few little bits that I got. I still need to get like the little knick-knack bits. Um, but I might just order that online. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm coming to terms with his first birthday. I'm like gearing myself up for it and, you know, thinking positive about it. It is positive. It's um, like, it's amazing he's turning one. But, um... I was obviously really, really emotional about it, and I probably will be the lead up to it uh, as it gets closer and on the day, but it's just, I don't want to be too sad because it's a day for him, isn't it, to celebrate him, and I'm so excited to see his little face and, um, yeah, celebrate his very first birthday. It's very, very exciting. I don't know if I said earlier, but we're going to book the Sea Life Centre for his actual birthday. Me, Liam and Rudy, we're going to go to the Sea Life Centre and then we're going to have like a little party um, back home. Oh yeah, because as I said earlier, we was going to try and get the soft play, wasn't we? But um, I knew we'd left it too late for that anyway. But um, yeah, it'd be really nice. So I just need to get little party bits like that. I think I'm gonna do the food myself. I'm gonna try and bake his birthday cake, as I said. Um, yeah, and apart from that, like everything's done really. We do wanna get him the little soft play set. So that would be cute. I think this week, I think tomorrow we're gonna go to um a local garden centre just me and Rudy whilst Liam's working and then the next day I'm going to see my sister and my niece and nephew but um I think I'm gonna do Instagram vlog and TikTok vlog tomorrow because I'm really struggling to like film for YouTube and film for Instagram and TikTok it's like I can't I can only focus on one um so I need to get better at that, I think. But yeah, tomorrow I think I'm just going to do um, like a day in the life vlog on TikTok and Instagram until I get more efficient with my filming. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. But thank you so much for spending the day with us today. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you guys have too. And I will see you in my next one.